And we're back. Uh, hopefully, we have Kevin on the line. How are you doing today, Kevin? Good, Dave. How are you doing? Fantastic. So I was looking at uh, Seagate Technology. I know you've got a strong technology background. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know enough to distinguish them from one chip company to the next, but they've had a, a big run since early August from about 42 to over 60. Now they're pulling back today on, on pretty strong volume. I was just curious what you thought on a technical and um, from a company standpoint, if you think they're a, a long-term um, potential, if you know if they have a nice pullback here, they're pulling back a lot of volume today. Um, unless they come up with some kind of new technology, I think they're they and Western Digital are are gone in five years, maybe less. Oh, um, okay, not. Yeah, I mean, SSDs are so much uh, better uh, in the data center. They save uh, uh, oodles of money uh, from electricity costs. Uh, and, of course, uh, being able to swap them out and uh, just knowing how they're going to work seems to be, you know, much better. They're selling a lot of really big, you know, 8-terabyte, uh, 16-terabyte drives now for long-term storage. But... The, the companies cleaning up are the ones selling SSDs and rack mount systems with pay, petabyte uh, SSDs because everybody wants everything now. Um, I just don't understand if they got some kind of new technology that actually competes uh, with uh, anything else, that would be interesting to me. But if they're just going to continue to make spinning drives until they're out of business, uh, it's probably the more logical uh, look, uh, basically, the companies that are going to own storage are RAM manufacturers, right? There's not much yeah. to the controller, and it's just all about who's making RAM. Right. So, Thanks, Dave. Appreciate the feedback. You bet. Sell when you can, especially if it's a hard drive company. And we'll be here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time.